got your side hustle business idea and you've had some initial feedback. How do you decide on which promotion strategy is going to help you achieve your validation goal? And do you have any unique skills, relationships or strengths that can help you push towards validation? Hi guys, I'm Matt Harris and I started my first side hustle business, a commercial cleaning company, when I was still working as a full-time property lawyer. In today's video, I'm going to help you choose a promotion strategy that's going to help you test your validation goal for your side hustle business idea. I'll also help you with some online and offline places where you can promote your work. Ready? Let's jump in. In the previous episodes of this side hustle series, you were able to identify a winning business idea, set your validation goal, choose a business format for that idea, create an adaptable action plan, and get some feedback from your target audience. If you haven't watch the previous videos i've included a link to the side hustle series playlist in the video description below so go and check those out also make sure you grab the free worksheet that accompanies each video because it will help you keep on track with developing your own side hustle business idea today's video is all about choosing the right promotion strategy to help you validate when considering which promotion strategy is going to work for your side hustle business you need to ask yourself two questions one where's your potential audience already spending time online if you check out the previous video in this side hustle series which is all about getting feedback about your business idea, you will have already got feedback from your audience and identified potential channels where you can continue your promotion. The second question is, do you have any particular strengths, relationships that will help you accelerate towards validation? This is something that came up in the first video of this side hustle series where we ran through how to identify a winning business idea based on your existing skills, relationships and unique strengths. If you've only joined this episode of the side hustle series, I strongly recommend that you check out the first three videos which will lay the foundation for this video. So where can you promote your side hustle business idea? There are a number of different online and offline places where you can promote your idea. And these include Facebook and LinkedIn groups, Instagram, where followers of big influencers that are working within your niche, you can check out their hashtags, their comments, and also their existing followers. Twitter via followers of popular accounts, public lists and hashtags, guest posting on blogs that are popular within your niche, and in-person networking events, clubs, and promotions. For a full list of options, don't forget to download the worksheet that accompanies this video, the next step you need to take is doubling down on one particular strategy. You will have already laid the groundwork by getting some feedback on your side hustle idea. So now you've identified the promotion strategy that's going to work best for your side hustle business. It's time to double down and put in some work. All that requires is putting in some consolidated effort into the particular strategy that you've chosen to help spread the word about your side hustle business idea. So how do you do this? In the previous videos, I've used an example of me setting up a new blog in the context of setting validation goals and getting some feedback. In this particular example, I've determined that guest posting on other blogs is a viable option for me to pursue as a promotion strategy. And I've already researched blogs and publications that are popular within my niche. Ideally, I'm looking for blogs or publications that are at least five to 10 times bigger than my own blog, which isn't hard because I'm starting from scratch. And those that accept guest post articles and links back to the author of the blog post. Once I've determined which blogs and publications those are, now I need to find the right person to contact. With personal blogs, Blogs, sometimes blog owners have their contact details on the actual blogs themselves, whereas company blogs, you need to do a little bit of digging, or they might already have a guest post blog process, in which case, make sure you follow that when you make contact about guest posting. For business contacts, you can use tools like Hunter.io to find email addresses. Once you know who to get in touch with, it's time to write your email. When doing this, you need to make sure that your ask is super clear and that you include some bullet points about your ideas for the guest post. I've included some email outreach templates as part of the free worksheet download so make sure you grab a copy via the link in the description these templates were inspired by ryan robinson who's a popular blogger and freelancer and you can adapt them as required for your own side hustle business now you might be thinking that's great thanks for giving me a promotion strategy for guest hosting on other blogs but what about other channels that i've decided to pursue such as facebook linkedin instagram twitter or going out to networking events you can use a similar process to the one that i've described for guest posting for those channels with facebook and linkedin group reach out to the group admin and ask them if you can promote your side hustle business idea within the group. You really want to be looking for a group that contains a large majority of your ideal clients so that you can get some relevant feedback. With Instagram, you can reach out to influencers and ask them about collaborating on some content or for them to promote your side hustle business idea on their channel in return for a cut of the profits or a fixed upfront fee. With Twitter, the benefit is that you can get in contact with individuals direct. So when they talk about a problem that your side hustle business idea solves, you can reach out and recommend your idea to them in 
a tweet or in a direct message. Lastly, within person events, it's all about building connections. Going to events where a large majority of your ideal clients will hang out, speaking with them, getting contact details and following up is a surefire way that you'll be able to promote your side hustle business idea. Now that you've got a clear idea as to which promotion strategy is going to work best for your side hustle business, it's time to get validated. Keep in mind that validation is an experiment and that the action plan that you've created will need to be changed and adapted depending on the feedback that you get as you go through the validation process. At this stage, you might be thinking, what if I can't validate my side hustle business idea? What are my options then? I answer these questions in the next episode of this side hustle series, which is all about achieving validation and learning from your outcomes. You can watch the video right here once it's been published. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.